Welcome to Learn Somatics, I'm Colin. So today I want to teach you a somatic movement called Arch and Flan. And the purpose of this movement is to help you regain control and release the muscles in the lower back. In the whole back, but specifically in the lower back. So if you tend to suffer from low back pain and stiffness, you'll find this movement very helpful. It's easy to do, it only takes a few minutes, well worth learning. So, so Arch and Flan. The working position for this is knees bent, feet flat, laying down, okay? When you're learning this movement, it's useful to have your hands uh, a little bit of contact. Just feel the bony part of the front of your hips so you can feel what's going on. So when we do this movement, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deliberately arching our lower back. So what happens when we arch our lower back is our tail goes into the table and our low back lifts up off the table. So we increase the space underneath our low back while pressing our tail down into the table or the floor, if you're on the floor. So if you do this and hold, you'll be able to very clearly feel I'm arching my back and I'm contracting my back muscles. Now from there, all you need to do is just slowly relax back to rest. Let's repeat that. We're going to arch the back. You'll feel the pelvis rolls in that direction. Chin gets drawn down, back tightens, and then we're slowly letting the back release. Relaxing the back, back down. So in somatics, the only reason we make a contraction is so we have an opportunity to relax. Right? And we're contracting these back muscles when we arch. That's putting us back in control. It's a deliberate tightening. So we can do a deliberate relaxation as we come down. Really simple idea, works really well. One more time, arching. See how the space beneath the lower back increases, belly goes up in the air, tail goes down into the table, and then slowly release. And each time you release, you're eking out more and more tension out of that lower back. Inhale to arch if you want to add the breath. And exhale to flatten. Inhale to arch. And then exhale to flatten. Now let's deliberately flatten the back. Let's flatten it a bit more than we were normally or before. And now we contract the belly. So when we arch, belly relaxes, back contracts. When we flatten, back relaxes, belly contracts. The back flattens out, so you can see the pelvis is starting to roll this way now. Pelvis rolls towards the feet as the back arches. Pelvis rolls towards the nose, the chest as the back flattens. It's a really simple but important movement. Back arches, slowly relax as the back come down. Back flattens, belly tightens, back is relaxed. One more time, well a couple more times, one arching, Slowly releasing. Once you've got the hang of the movement, you can just let your arms be by your side. Then you're arching, slowly releasing, slowly flattening. So if at any point in the movement there's a shake or jump or a jerky bit, your job is to do it again, repeat it, and take out the skips, take out the bumps. And slowly release. Arching and flat. If you do it correctly, when you arch your chin will get drawn down, and when you flatten, your chin will get sent the other way a little bit. Arch, slow release into flat. Okay, you can do as much or as little of that as you want and when you're done. Let your legs out straight and check in and see how that feels. Pay particular attention to your lower back and uh, the comfort of your lower back and how close it is to the table. If you've done it correctly, you should feel a marked increase in comfort and uh, a marked uh, drop in your back. It should be closer to the table. If you tend to get lower back tightness and pain, you want to make that movement part of your daily routine. In the morning, preferably morning and night, 
Um, but if not, before you go to bed is a great time to do it. That's Arch and Flatten.